Following the Oslo Accords in 1993, the occupied West Bank was divided into three areas. Areas A and B are totally or partially under the jurisdiction of the Palestinian Authority. Area C falls fully under the Israeli Authority. It is an uncontinuous zone which cuts and separates Palestinian cities, towns and villages. Israel does not provide any services to Palestinians in Area C, even though this is the duty of an occupying power in accordance with international law. At the same time, Israel prevents the Palestinian Authority from delivering services in these areas. Settlements continue to expand in Area C. Currently, over 385,000 Israeli settlers live in over 200 illegal settlements and outposts. The number of settlers has quadrupled since the Oslo Accords, and today, Israeli settlers outnumber Palestinians in Area C. Area C comprises over 60% of the occupied West Bank, where around 300,000 Palestinians live in over 500 communities. These communities, such as the villages of Jebet al dib and Kowawis, are suffering. Kowawis is a small, isolated village in the South Hebron Hills. The principal livelihood of this community is farming, but the surrounding illegal Israeli settlements constantly harass the residents of the village. While the illegal settlements enjoy a constant supply of electricity and water, Palestinians have only restricted access. Building permission for homes and infrastructure are almost impossible to obtain. In Kowawis, residents recently moved into breeze block structures, replacing the tents they had been living in in order to better protect themselves from the harsh weather conditions. Shortly after the structures were built, the Israeli authorities came to deliver demolition orders to the village. <laughs> The isolation of communities in Area C makes access to education very challenging. Um Ibrahim lives in Jibat al Dib, an Area C Palestinian village home to around 150 inhabitants. Located 20 minutes from Jerusalem, the village has been requesting electricity for nearly three decades. Last December, international donors installed solar panels, but the Israeli authorities confiscated them only eight months later, saying that permits had not been issued. <laughs> Since the army confiscated the solar panels, Jubet al Dib villagers have only four to six hours of electricity per day with a generator which pushes their expenses. Um Ibrahim doesn't see any future for her daughters here. يعني بكفي أنا وهن كمان أزود عليهن زي لا يتزوجن وشوفن حياتهن يطلعن برا البيت. Hanin is studying art at Bethlehem College. She uses art to escape from the frustrations of daily life. ما بحب أرسم أشياء كثير عن المأساة والمعاناة اللي بعيشها هون. بحب دائما أطلع من هذا المكان اللي هون مع إنه يعني بنتميله. But the lack of electricity doesn't allow her to use the internet as many other students do, and this has an impact on her studies. There were difficulties in 
التعليم الالكتروني اكثر شيء يعني يصير خلل عندي بال بالعلامه مع انه يعني معدلي كثير عالي ليش ما يكون عندي كهرباء ويكون عندي انترنت ليش مش زي غيري ليش هم شو الناس هاي شو احسن مني On the 23rd of August, Israeli forces dismantled and confiscated six European-funded classrooms at a primary school in Jabet al dib on the first day of the new school year. Throughout Area C, many isolated communities are far away from any kind of hospital or clinic, creating restrictions and gaps in access to health services. Palestine Medical Relief Society run mobile clinics with support from the German Foreign Office and Medico International, to provide basic medical care services and health education workshops. Kowawis and Jubit al dib are examples of over 40 communities which are served by five mobile health clinics throughout Area C. In Jubit al dib a women's committee has developed from a women's empowerment workshop facilitated by PMRS. <laughs> النقص اللي في البلد هون عشان نضل مستمرين فيه إذا ما ساعدونا بيمشوا ما بضل حدا وبتروح يعني بتروح البلد البلد كلها يعني جب الذي بصير فناء كي عن نفسي ولا بطلع منها إلا على الحمى على زي ما بقولها في التابوت. Between 2014 and 2016. Israel granted only 53 building permits in Area C out of 1,253 applications. During the same period, 2,141 demolition orders were given by the Israeli authorities for Palestinian structures in Area C. In 2016, 182 structures funded by the EU or its member states were targeted, increasing the total financial losses in 2016 to 557,378 euros. Over the past six months, 117 structures funded by the EU or EU member states for a value of 311,692 euros were demolished or seized, which represents an exceptional upsurge. Structures funded by the EU or EU member states are being systematically demolished. This represents significant financial losses for the European humanitarian aid budget for the West Bank, which is funded by European taxpayers' money. European MPs need to demand that their governments hold Israel to account for the demolition of EU-funded humanitarian aid projects. It is the duty of the international community to challenge Israeli human rights violations in Area C. It is also vital that funding continues to the NGO programs that provide Palestinians living in Area C a crucial lifeline by promoting their rights, their resilience and their protection.